What up, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do... Oh, God, I love it when it fires immediately. We're going to do a fun stipulation here. Hope you guys think it's fun. It's actually... It's it's really... It's really... Uh, it, it's really pretty anticlimactic. Magic Banding sent me a stipulation, and it literally just says, Stip, no card restrictions. Have fun, and thanks for the great content. Don't let nobody touch your spaghetti. And I never will. Somebody touch my spaghetti! So, it's it's funny. Like, I do, I still do stips like this, right? Like, it's, it's obviously there's no restriction whatsoever. It's just me drafting normally. But someone donated just to support the stream and just to be like, hey, have fun. And that's cool. So, I'm still going to honor that. And we're still going to do it. I think it's upheaval again. We didn't get a great upheaval deck, but this time... We could take Noble Hierarch. It's all right. Upheaval is a build around card. And so are a lot of these cards. Oh, we can high tide, high tide upheaval again. What problem is? What problem is? <clears throat> oh, little man's in the pet. How does. Oh my goodness. Um, There's actually a lot of cards in this pack that are decent. Sylvan Library, because you kind of like being green with upheaval. High Tide Wheel Gush game. I have been wanting to ask what Frank's spaghetti policy was. Uh, don't touch it. Katie, I don't know if you guys heard that. Katie from the background said, unless your name is Katie. So, Valk or High Tide seems cool. Library. I do like library a lot, actually. I'm definitely leaning towards library. I heard that. <laughs> okay, I think they can hear you. I also kind of like Ulamog. I kind of like Wilmog here. Oh, man. Oh, Fractured Identity? Oh, let's take Fractured Identity. That seems good. We could also take a Nissa. Actually, Nissa seems decent with... <sighs> what if we go Nissa, Upheaval, Float 10, <laughs> the Wilmog? All we need is 16 mana. What is this game? This is a game called Spaghetti. <laughs> what in the earth? Oh, Lord. I, it's either Fractured Identity or Nissa. I think Fractured Identity is stronger. I think Nissa goes better with the two cards we already have. I think I'm going to go with Nissa. That was, that was an exercise in discipline, and it was hard. I'm going to take Goose here. So now our goal is to get Nissa out and then either Upheaval or cast Ulamog. That's our goal. Yeah, I'll take Eternal Witness. Bird of Paradise. Oh, man. So the two birds we've picked up have uh, the ability to tap for both blue and green, which is pretty sweet. Why didn't we take Hides? You can't ask me why I didn't take a card when I, when I, when I talk through the, the reasons. Oh, Gaia's Cradle? Sure. I'll Gaia's Cradle. Whenever I see, like, a 7th <clears throat> pick Gaia's Cradle, I'm always like, okay, we're doing good. If we're in green. If we're, if we're, if we're drafting mono black and we get a 7th pick Gaia's Cradle, it's not, it's not really as good, so...
I mean, we could take Temple Garden. Maybe the, uh... <clears throat> maybe the Fracture Identity comes back, huh? Elder Gargaroth is a nice one. This is one of those cards in the cube where you're like, oh, that's really super mid-range and impressive. And then you play it and you're like, well, that's really hard to deal with. So that's cool. Actually, Omnath seems pretty sweet here. We could also take Terastodon. We have a Temple Garden. We also have Gilded Goose, Birds of Paradise. Is this an option? I'm going to take Omnath. I think it's... Oh, I was really hoping Sylvan Caryatid came back. Wow, that's great. I was like, man, if that Sylvan Caryatid comes back, it helps us cast all the things. <clears throat> yeah, that pack was kind of unimpressive. I mean, Elves of Deep Shadow is fine, but it's like the one color we don't want to be. But we could be a Mind Slaver deck. Whisper with Elemental? You're fine. <clears throat> I feel like Nykthos is usually not great. Like, the risk of having a Nykthos in your opening hand, uh, especially if you have another land like Gaia's Cradle, is usually not outweighed by, like, the minimal amount of mana you might net. Oh, I kind of like this guy. That's actually pretty sweet. We have a bunch of good cards here that uh, that work well with a, a Nyssa. There's Thraggy Bay. Hmm. <laughs> we have a good time. Uh, I, I definitely don't think Euro's a trap. I think even if you cast Euro for three, it's still very, very fine. And, um, like, the fact that you can put it in your graveyard is still just fine. I, I think I would take Euro over Wall of Roots. I think Wall of Roots has a higher chance of coming back. Could take Tundra. Could also take Tundra and hope Stomping Ground comes back. <clears throat> It's really nice that we do have Birds of Paradise, Gilded Goose, and Sylvan Carry added to make multiple colors, though. <laughs> but I mean, like, I really like going turn one Mana Dork, turn two Nick, turn two Euro. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm taking Euro here. But Euro is also good with Omnath because it lets you play a second land on the turn. So if you go fetch land, regular land. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> so I actually kind of like Mana Drain here. I think te Temporary is great too, but I think we're just taking the Mana Drain. I mean, we have a bunch of expensive stuff, and Mana Drain and Upheaval is really good. It's double blue, but again, we have three cards that help us with blue. And I think Mana Drain is basically a, a kind of power, so if that makes sense. Uh, I don't actually think Ulamog is a spaghetti monster. I think only Emrakul is a spaghetti monster, specifically because of her legs. I mean, obviously there are tentacles in the background of this, but uh, look, I just don't want to... <sighs> so this is the point where I love Breeding Pool. Dryad might be better when we have Omnath. And Devoted Druid's really good, too. I think it's actually Dryad here. The fixing, like letting us play Manager off of any two lands or Omnath seems really good. That ain't spaghetti in her background? Get out of here. Yeah, I think we're taking this. Oh my god, natural order? 
what if we take natural order and wield a progenitus? We're definitely doing that. We're definitely doing that. No one is taking progenitus. Come on. <clears throat> I mean, even if they do, it's natural order. Even natural order into Omnath play a land is still good. Like this deck seems sweet. Hopefully, we're we're uh, living up to this the magic banding stip. Oh, I like I actually like search for tomorrow here. That seems good. Yeah, I'll take a search for tomorrow. Search for tomorrow. Oh, Kozilek? Hmm. Interesting. I don't think it's... I think everything... I think Kozilek's actually fine. It's just an Eldrazi we can cast off like Mana Drain or Nyssa. Yeah. 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 <coughs> oh, well, no. Every time we have Progenitus in our deck, we draw it every, every game. It's not... That's not even... That's not even a question. Frailies. I do like a Frailies here. A Gruul Signet actually helps us cast Omnath, which is real sweet. I would definitely consider Regrowth, but we already have Eternal Witness. Wow, Gruul Signet's nice. Oh, Stomping Ground is also nice for that same reason. All right. <clears throat> well, I had a feeling we may will the Stomping Ground, so that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Gristlebrand. I'm just taking the Gristlebrand from someone else. Part of this tip is me ruining the fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to play Orzhov Signet or Porcelain Engineer, so. And we'll take balance. <clears throat> I think the next pack is progenitus pack. Come on, progenitus pack. Do 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 progenitus pack. <clears throat> Progenitus, where art thou? Come on, be in this pack. Natural order, I want it. I want it. Let's give it to me. Alternatively, we can pay 12 with Finale. So what if we go Nissa with five forests, turn six forest, tap them all for 12, Finale of Devastation, search for Progenitus, attack for 20. That seems good, right? Yeah! <laughs> Got it. Oh, we did it. We did it. Did you say meh? How dare you? I mean, look, man, I didn't think someone was going to, but I, I have seen Stranger Things. It's a great show. Looking forward to season four. Treachery. Are we a treachery deck? There's a Llanowar Elves, but I think Llanowar Elves might come back with treachery. Like, we got a late Gaia's Cradle. I think we just take treachery. <clears throat> Guys, do you know Nissa who shakes the world in treachery is a combo? The breeding pool did not come back. I mean, we're already we're already using a significant number of uh, islands in the deck because of upheaval, mana drain, treachery. So, 
Plus, oh my god, Dryad making all lands forests. It's very good. <clears throat> what? Excuse me? What did you say? <laughs> Katie's just out there making fun of me. I mean, we're going to take Ancestor Recall. Oh my god. Almost took our own Dryad. We're going to take Ancestor Recall. But, you know, someone's getting a third pick Mana Crypt, so that's kind of cool. Maybe they'll pass a Mox Emerald because they just don't even care about it. Shut up and take my money. Oh, happy banning day. Nifty Chris with the happy banning day. Okay, well, there's a Crater Hoof and an Oracle of Maldai in the same pack. I think it's got to be Crater Hoof. We also have Natural Order. It's got to be Crater Hoof. This is an easy replacement for Kozilek, too, so. Nifty Chris, thank you for the bucks, buddy. Wonderful. <laughs> oh boy oh what a big crease big Chris this actually looks actually very big he's like six feet four or something um here's an Ulamog is this Ulamog better I don't know God, the the fucking president of the United States Twitter got fucking suspended. Oh, that's, I can't even handle it, dude. Oh God, look how much of a garbage human do you have to be to get your Twitter account suspended when you when you literally are the president of a country? That's the America, no less. <clears throat> I think the cast trigger is better on this Ulamog, obviously, but having Annihilator Four is no joke. I don't think we need harmonize. <clears throat> Actually, maybe it's just Nature's Claim. We actually don't have an effect like this yet. We don't have, like, an Acidic Slime. Yeah, I'll just take Nature's Claim. I don't need either of those. Hmm, Blighty Boy. Turn to Symbiosis is kind of sweet. We can actually hit Progenitus or Crater Hoof off of this card. I do like Crater I like Questing Beast. This might come back. This two, two cards might come back, right? No, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I think it's two. We're going to take Questing Beast. It's just good. It's better in the early game, and that's... Oh, Simic Signet is nice. That seems really good for us. Wow. We also don't have a ton of ramp here, so... Katie, Mike, said he's really, he's really excited for the Cheesecake Factory. She said, me too, buddy. Um... I think we're just taking Carnage Tyrant here. Actually, am I passing a Mole Drifter? Maybe it's Hydroid Crassus. Hydroid Crassus is probably better than both, right? Are we a Eureka deck with a Kozilek in the sideboard and a Gristlebrand in the sideboard? I know people think Eureka is a trap, but I think Show and Tell is the only trap, and I think Eureka, if built correctly, is actually very strong. And I've won several games. Like, your opponent just can't... If you play, like, Craterhoof, Ulamog, Progenitus, like, doesn't matter what they do. They'll have, like, two answers, and then usually just steamroll them. Like, we obviously play Kozilek, like, then. Can we get a channel? Have we gone around? Yeah, we've gone around because we've seen Land of Elf, so no, no channel for us, unfortunately. <clears throat> this is the Have Fun Stip. That is true. Kind of wish this was a Wall of Roots, but... Was not meant to be. I'll just take Gavin, my elder here.
Oh, Harmonize came back. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take a mm, Tangle Wire. I'm pretty sure Ollie F'd me on Eureka at GP Seattle. I hope I ever hate that card. Wait, how do you mean? Did you guys play against each other? You think we cut upheaval, really? I think I lost a round against either Ollie and one of Ollie's friends who were playing Eureka Tell. Not with, uh... <laughs> yeah, right, like being able to go Nissa into upheaval and then just play a bunch of stuff seems very, very good. This is also a one drop. Also, if they put something fat into play, we can just put treachery into play and steal it and then untap our lands. That seems good, right? Okay, this is 26 cards. We need to cut... I think we can cut two. I think we can play 16 lands because we have literally four one-mana dorks. You want to cut Questing Beast? Jesus. Do you wake up in the morning this rude or... Does it take you... Does it take you time to build up to it? What'd you say? Is Omnath really worth the splashes? Yeah. I mean, so it's not really that hard to do, right? We have Gilded... Like, let's look at the cards that actually help us play Omnath. We'll put them in this pile here. Sullen Carry Added, Gilded Goose, Birds of Paradise, Gruel Signet, Temple Garden, Stomping Ground, both of which are free splashes. Like, and we're also naturally playing blue. <clears throat> I mean, it might be Finale. I was thinking Fraley's actually. I kind of don't want to cut permanents though, because there's things I can put into play with Eureka. It might be. What if we go to. Is it Manadrain, do you think? What about Manadrain and Finale? No, I don't like cutting Manadrain at all. It seems terrible. I think, I think we can cut Finale. I think if we're going with Eureka, we can cut Finale. Yeah, we're not cutting Drain. That was silly. I don't know why I said that. I mean, we have a lot of permanents. Like, these are all things we can put into play with Eureka. I mean, you could say they're unnecessary, but, like, every card that does... I mean, like, we could say, like, Elder Gargoros unnecessary, right? Like, Search for Tomorrow is unnecessary. We already got three of these guys. Search for Arm actually might be unnecessary. I'm cutting Search. Done. See what you did? You convinced me. I, I don't think those are necessarily higher impact. Like, there's games where Questing Beast just attacks four times and wins. Like... 
Um, we have no way to search out basic lands, right? So I'm actually just going to play uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is set, and we don't have Rafello, so we don't need a super high concentration of forests, except for Nissa, but we still have seven, eight, nine, which I think is fine. And I do want to have a ton of blue. And how many green sort? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine green sources on turn one. Plus two signets. And this is one, two, this is only six blue sources plus a signet. I think this is actually fine. Alright. <laughs> Let's do it. Triple ten dot ten drop dot deck. Euro seems bad. Why? When, when, in what situation is it going to seem better? Like, I mean. I think you guys. I think you guys have to disconnect from like using. Like I've, I've talked about this before. You guys need to disconnect, like using every aspect of a card. If we never unearth him, or if we ever uh, escape him, I think it's still fine. You can play Bird, Gilded Goose, or Land or Elf on turn one, and then turn two Euro to play another land. You're still drawing a card. You're still gaining three. Like, it's still a fine escape esque card. It's very similar to Search for Tomorrow. And, like, you're also getting the benefit of maybe having a 6-6 six, six that they really have to deal with in the late game. Like, I, I know it's not going to be, like, back-breaking and it is a little slower, but it's just a very solid card. Plus, like, again, like, it's a card you can put into play with Eureka, draw an extra card. Like, what are you going to do? Jiggity Jaws, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. It was part one of a two-part joke. I said I meant banned, but I heart the explanation. Wait, hold on. Euro seems bad here. I mean banned. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. This is a little bit slow, but we have Ancestral Recall and three ramp cards. So pretty much whatever we hit is golden, unless we hit, like, Eureka here. In which case, that's sad. They are as empty. Oh boy, here we go. I'm going to play Signet here because if they want to counter something, I'd rather them counter this. Yep, cool. So next time we can go Simic Signet into Carry Added. Well, of course I'd keep that because any one land and then you just get to draw the, uh, you get to draw the land, so... So next time we get to Gilded Goose, Ancestor Recall, and one, two, three, four, five. This is six mana next turn. Oh, they crack in their Verdant Catacomb in their red, white, blue deck. <laughs> Seems good. Here comes Omnath. Oh no, I'm not 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 Omnath. Not Nath. Come on, Frailies, one time. Kozilek, Butcher of Tooth. One, two, three, four, five. Where's my come? Where's a Eureka now? Sacrifice a creature. Okay. Sacrifice this one. Oh, 
Okay. Fraley's one time. Let's kill this. Let's kill this thing. That's a uh, land. It's unfortunate. It's not, it's not what we're really looking forward to. Thank you. It's unfortunate. We could gilded goose here. <clears throat> oh, the antibody with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. If we can just draw mana drain, bait them into playing some big bullshit. Gotta make up for my lame attempts at you. You definitely don't. You're a good dude, and I appreciate you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I actually wonder if we do have people here. So we can make seven mana. I mean, Mishra's Workshop makes it worse, right? Because then they can go Workshop, Basalt, Monolith, Mox. I think we're just stealing the Urza here. One, two, three. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> hey, buddy. How rude, one. Two, three, four, five. They have one card in hand, which seems good for us. Uh, what do we got? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Well, Progenitus. Oh, <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'll cast it. What the hell? Could be worse. Could be worse. That goose was huge. Okay. It's an X spell? Coercive portal. Okay. That was a thick duck. Bless you. <laughs> Magic. Temple Garden, huh? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Not bad. These hits are decent. These hits are decent. So we got one, two. So if they block here, they take nine. That doesn't seem great. I guess we could just trade with this guy. Unforgiven. Have a good night, buddy. So this is only one, two, three, four mana. If we had one more mana, we could actually... I think next turn, if we upheaval, we're actually... This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. That's fine. No, it's less now. So now it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can upheaval. We can upheaval float two. I will definitely vote homage. Homage, if you will. Yeah. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. So we can float eight. Play a land, have three, play Signet, Goose. I mean, it's just bad for us because they can go Workshop, Mox, Course of Portal. Land? <laughs> like, no, that's, I guess that doesn't Workshop as a land. Okay, that's pretty good. But they only have one, two, three, four, six mana or three art, three non-artifact mana. Take me homage. 
Cause I can't remember. Okay, Signet's not super exciting here. But it is a way to transfer three workshop mana into one real mana. Interesting. Are you okay, babe? She dying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two ten drops in our hand. We can deal nine. That's unfortunate. All right, Crater Hoof, let's see what you do. Oh no. Condemn. Dang. Alright, well we're one man away from Ulamog or but or Kozilek, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. We got something else? Oh, they're just gonna untap that, sure. That is fine. Unless you need a triple black or triple blue for something. Quadruple blue. Yeah, someone just wrote, in permanently suspending Trump's account and his 88.7 million followers, Twitter has deprived Trump of a major avenue for monetizing the presidency after he leaves office. Those howls of rage you hear coming from the White House are about money, not free speech. Like, that's very true. Like, there's an, like cutting off an audience, his main microphone to 88.7 million people is pretty insane. Okay, seems good. Okay, so seems good. Well, we got a Ulmog, Leovold, and Course of Portal, I would imagine. Or we can... No, we're going to get rid of... Leovold and Faith's Fetters. And we'll try to win the game. They get to draw two, but... What are you, you going to do? Okay. Win the game. <laughs> ha ha. Ha Nature's Claim seems great. Let's bring that in. Hear me out. Nature's Claim. <laughs> Nature's Little Claim. <laughs> See, that's a funny reference. Breaking news... Nope, I'm not gonna. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um Let's take out upheaval. They seem like a better upheaval deck. Just off the bay monitor and let them cry it out. You know what? Just knock yourself out. 
Just get it out of your system. Yeah, I mean, again, this is the old, uh, this is the old Ancestral Recall hand. You got to play a goose, too, so. Better upheaval than us? That's right, that's right, Grandma. That's right. Oh, biscuits. We get to go Ancestral in the Natural Order? Hmm. Okay. I might just Nature's Claim that. We can also play Omnath next turn, guys. I think we're just going to get Progenitus. He's a Progenitus, Progenitus on the floor. And he's a 10-10. It's okay. We're just going to draw it. We're just going to draw the Progenitus. So. Uh, that's fine. You're going to bounce the goose? Okay. It's less fine. It's not as fun. I'm having a worse time now. Oh, what the... the it's got they have Teferi out. That doesn't actually do anything. Dang it. I hate that Teferi. What do they have? Days? I guess we got four. We have five mana. We can play around days. I don't think we saw many other counter spells, did we? Who knows? It's your boy. I'm very curious what you... <laughs> okay. Toxic Deluge for 10. That is a thing you can do. I feel like now I should have played a, a Tumble Garden or a Stomach Ground so I could play Omnath, but... Okay. Well, this is definitely taking a turn. Well, now we can actually play Omnath and play a land next turn. Oh, no, they're probably going to bounce. They're not going to bounce. They're not going to get rid of Wow, they did. They got rid of Teferi? Oh, wow. Why didn't I keep... I guess we wouldn't have been able to play Mana Drink because they have Lotus Stone Golem. I'm feeling... I'm feeling all the emotions right now. Yeah, that guy's good. One, two, three, four. Hmm. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. We have six. It's not the same at all. Actually, Gruel Signet's good. Um. One, two, one, two. Can we do everything? I don't actually know if we can do everything here. Yeah, we can signet. 
island. And then we play bird with bird with this. Okay. And now we get to keep up mana drain. And like even if they activate Golos, it's fine because if they get a big fat spell off of it, we still get to counter it and then play Ulamog, so that seems good. They're, one, two, three, four. They're not activating Golos? They're just attacking with a shambling then? It's aggressive. also aggressive um so we gain one two i mean we're not gonna we can't play nessie here one two it's a cost she costs six blue omni nath Well, I'm playing this land because I want to be able to play around days. So if we go Mana Drain, I want to be able to daze it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana next turn. So like whether we either counter whatever they do or whether we just play our land, we get to Ulamog, right? No, because it's not, it's not an artifact. Boom, doom, doom, doom. Boom, doom, 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 doom. Omnath is a hell of a drug. Gaining four life a turn. That's pretty good. Wait, what? What are you guys saying? No, it says you may play them without paying their mana costs. But this might, yeah, that might be negated. I don't even know what put is. Put doesn't even make any sense. It's definitely cast. You're definitely casting the spells. You're, you're playing them. Which they use the word play instead of cast because if they're lands... You want to be able to actually use them. Interesting. I mean, I'm going to block Bulos because I think having this guy on board is just a little better. Maybe. We could just block here, take three. I think that's actually fine. We have Ulamog. Yeah, that's fine. We have Mana Drain Ulamog. You put you put when you're getting too close to the golf ball in the hole. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. That's incredible. I don't know how, how they haven't activated Golos here. I mean, this feels worth it. Four mana is great. Oh, sitting with the drain, right? I mean, yeah. Okay, you got it. I mean, now we get to take out Urza and Golos, though, so that's pretty cool. Um, do we have enough mana to do everything? 
So one, two, three, four, five, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to make sure we don't get mana tile. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five. I mean, you can do whatever you want with the mana. <laughs> Should have let that dude resolve. Oh yeah, stomp. did I not count the stomping for two? Yeah, you get two extra mana this turn. And now we have an active Nissa and an Ulamog on board. That seems good. Okay. It's not bad. I don't know. That'll, that'll hold down the fort, but Nissa is still in a threat. Plus, we're virtually nine because of the food. So. Should they have attacked with Shambling Vent as well there? No, they couldn't. They didn't have enough white mana for that. Well, I got two cards left Sacrifice of Planeswalker. Seems good. Also seems good. Okay. Two Vigilance creatures? I like it. Zoinks. See, this is where I questing beast is just a solid beater. This guy can't block it. Like, what a good boy. You're right. You're right. Okay, can't do anything yet. That is pretty good, though. We got an Omnath. And there's a Lodestone Golem, I guess. Those are threats. Nature's, uh, the other guy flies. Yep, that's a solid That's a solid pickup. No mistake in it. For at least. Dang it. <sighs> I feel like we're going to lose the Scarab God here, and I don't love it. Um, okay. Gives us some time, I guess. Because they just have to replay this guy. Up people would be great here. Now all of a sudden it's great. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you get to float 5, replay land, go birds, gruel signet. Okay, well... For at least one time for the for the death. For at least. Nature's claim. Nature's claim is in here. Eternal Witness and Frailies would be great draws here. But we do not have those. Oh boy, I think we have one turn before we're really in trouble. Like, we can easily block things here. Ironically, we could even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can actually play Progenitus because of Dryad of the Elysian Grove. It's kind of funny.
just going to take four here. Oh, okay. We're definitely double blocking this guy. I mean, if they didn't attack with Scarab God and we took four here, we're just dead on board because they have two zombies. So kind of glad we didn't, they didn't do that. And now we're just kind of looking for Gaia's Cradle. Okie dokie. Guess we're going to the next game. Wow. Literally nothing coming up. It's unfortunate. I mean, theoretically, we're in. Our deck is good. What would you do for a Galenic Bar? Not too much. not ideal I don't love it nah, I think we gotta ship this hand it's not that much better unfortunately we'll ship Omnath so it's good to know they too have um are they going to daze this? No. They too have Mana Drain. That's good to know. And Teferi. And uh, a Mox at least. Earthling Cloudscape. Sure. Give me a green source so I can just start questing. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. He said about drawing Ancestral Recall. Teferi, bounce. Leovold. Okay, well, glad we played Ancestral last turn. One, two, three. So this is actually pretty sweet. Dryad. Land, land. Beast. Attack. So we have what's one, two, three, four, five. So we have seven mana now. Getting close. Basalt monolith. Oh, what a bad pup. I mean, I'm tempted to just kill the monolith here. I mean, making letting them untap with like seven mana seems worse than them drawing one card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Oh, puppy dog eyes. More like bad puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Nailed it. Sometimes you have to do bad. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. Well, good seeing you, buddy. I will likely not forget that because that is a very easy transition. They bounce their own Leovold just so I can kill the questing beast? That's actually fantastic. Okay. Okay. Uh, no attacks. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
Wow, if we had one more land, it's actually lethal. That's kind of hilarious. Still put him to three. We still got a five five trampler on the board. Homage. If they wanna if they wanna do carnage, always do homage. Sure. Man, should I have waited? I don't know. I think this is actually a fine attack. They could go block, block. Yeah, we're just going to attack with this guy. If they want to trade, that's fine because it still takes them a turn to replay this guy, so. What? Oh, what? Hmm. Getting that guy back in Bouncing Crater Hip does not seem super impressive. I mean, do you even bounce Crater Hip? I don't even know what's going on anymore. No blocks. This is one time I want to land. It's not a land. Uh, hoofed naturally does not have trample, no. So what do they get back? Questing Beast and Block, and then they get back Hoof. Yeah, I'm not falling for that, buddy. Although this guy does put a land on the table. They can also get Euro back, but it's like it's going to die, so... That would be great if they actually did that and didn't know, but... God, so many good cards we haven't drawn. Natural Order would be nice for Progenitus. We could get... Uh... Yep, yeah, that's fine. Hoof gains trample, the turn comes into play, but he doesn't have it naturally, he just has haste. Just haste, he says. That is fine. I mean, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna manage during the little mog here, but this is. I mean, I'm just gonna take five, six, and take nine. But having Ulamog resolve, like the trigger resolve, is still. Oh, they're not gonna. Mm. Oh boy. Oh god, we draw mana drain. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of this guy and probably Leo. Actually, is it just face fetters? No, I don't care about the face fetters. I care about the Leo. <laughs> They have seven cards in their hand. Jeez. So 
Still homaging. Oh man, they must have the nuts and they just if they have a way to get rid of Ulamog, they win. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> yeah, so we're probably dead. Yep, do not feel good about this. I mean, if they just bounce it, we're dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hover over it. Here we go. Okay, that's not it. I do have to give. I do have to. I, I have to take a good long look at some channel points. Oh, that ain't it. <laughs> oh, man, did we do it? Is Ulamog gonna do it? Oh, 100% block questing beast. Oh, man, Time Raveler would have done it. Oh, they don't have the mana for that guy. Whoa! Ulamog! That was wonderful. All right, let's do it. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. It's not super exciting, but turn turn three questing beast is good. Is someone coming in, or is it just Pat sneaking in and out? Kay's out there napping on the couch, I believe. Okay, kitty cat, take it easy. It's not time for dinner yet. No. It's round two. Oof. What do I do? I draft all lands and only draft mono black cards. Well, I think we. I think the problem's evident. I think you don't do that. Oh, fascinating. It's very weird to just play a Mox Ruby on turn one. You know, you're playing, like, what if I had a, what if I had a natural nature's claim, a natural's claim. Oh, I see. Good times. So next time we can actually go land, untap, some extinct. We can't mana drain, but eventually. Oof. That is particularly beautiful. I think this game is probably going to end. They have two lands, two mana. It's turn four. They've missed three land drops. Don't want to do that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm just going to pass here. Eventually they'll play something. We can either manage or ancestral here. I guess we could play a land. We also have Eternal Witness to get back Mana Drain, or uh, Ancestor Recall. All right, we're in discard territory now. Okay. Two. 
two, three, four, five. We'll just play big gargs here. Keep up carry added because we have to if we want to keep mana drain up, which we do. I think we're just... Oh, are they going to do something this turn? If you try to kill my Gargaroth, I won't let you. Okay, we win the game. <laughs> Sounds good. Yep, let's bring in Nature's Claim. For sure. Treacher let's take out Upheaval. And we keep on a board out Upheaval. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm still looking for that, that beautiful Eureka start. This is not it, but this is still good against the deck. Like, if you're trying to win it orb me, you're trying to win it orb me, like, or smokestack, we can kill anything. Anything you can do. What happened to Mono Black? What was he? I'm sad I'm trying to do sneak attack and pass an Eldrazi for a Sol Ring. I mean, it's the correct choice. You chose correctly, Samuel. Oh, this is the same exact game. I'm going to be sad if we draw our Mana Drain and we don't have double double blue. You got, are you going to kill this guy? Hashiok, okay. Let's get rid of that. I don't know if it's going to affect them, but... Yeah, the Eldrazi might just wheel, Sammy. Oh, they're just taking my bird? Oh, boy. You got it. So I can untap kill Ashiok? Yeah, we're just playing this guy. Shut up and take my money. Attack your face. Obligatory Grixis ran step because it's been a while. Josh, I would love to. Oh, man, I appreciate you, man. All right. Josh, you, I assume you don't care if you're here or not because it seems like your schedule is a little busier these days. Uh, Okay. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. Putting it on the list. I'm probably going to be streaming for some amount of time tomorrow as well because Katie's going to be working from home, but still working. Anything you can do, I can do better. What is Euro? What? What in the earth? <laughs> also, this is like turn four and you're missing lands. I don't understand anything that's going on right now. Oh, Team J-Bro with the raid, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. So one, two, three, four, five. We can play Nyssa, untap this. It's not going to let us cast our thing, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's just worth playing. I think it's just worth holding Mana Drain up, to be honest. I mean, Mana Drain next turn lets us potentially cause a like If we hit a land... Or if they go land five drops. So, um, I think it's worth keeping the shields up. They've gained seven. We've attacked them a twice. And they... So, seven... Twenty-seven, four, eight. Is that right? Hmm. What did I miss? This was eight... Which would have put them to 12. They gained 4 from Nature's Claim. Put them to 16. 3 from Euro. Yeah, 
No, buddy. <laughs> Not a chance. And we gain five. Now we get the Kozilek. It's all happening. So if we just use that five to cast Nissa, so we go one green green. So we have two left over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. I'm just gonna play Kozilek here. If you ever get the chance to play an Eldrazi, you just play the Eldrazi. Yeah, Michael's downstairs working from home. Yeah, it's not time for the kids to eat yet. They usually eat around 7.30 because it keeps us... Uh, from going insane in the morning like sometimes if we feed them too early at night they just they want food earlier in the morning and then they wake us up okay none of these cards are doing anything i don't even know what this deck is very strange sure you, you got that guy they have one card in hand yeah okay i think the game just ended i think they're okay okay <laughs> can't actually cast that right now but that's okay we're just gonna attack with 12 12 jesus questing beast is just like eh, you don't have to attack red and six you just attack their face have they ever changed the clocks back no not yet you have to sack red and six you didn't sack Ren and Six. What did you sack? Oh, we, our bird. Why wouldn't you sack Ren and Six? It's just going to die. Okay. <laughs> they figured it out. Did they not block either? I don't know what's going on. This has been a hell of a... This has been a hell of a series of games here. I love the concept of Annihilator. What if you could tell your opponent to go F themselves every time you attack? Yes. No. Oh, God. It's worse, but I can't mulligan this. It's just not... I can't go to five here. Oh, boy. We're going to top dig Eureka. You ready? Hmm. That could be worse. Sylvan Carry added would probably be a good draw. Because then we can play Omnath and a land on the following turn. Yep, I saw the parlor was removed from the Google Play Store. Okay. I should have played a green, actually. <sighs> I was trying to, like, I'm trying to bluff, like, ooh, a, a two-mana, two-blue counter spell. But, like, the problem is that if we do draw a white source, of which there are a few. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I feel better. It's wild that people request for OG Emrakul or however you spell. How do you not know how to spell Emrakul? That card's been around for like 15 years, man. Uh, to be unbanned in Commander. And as someone on Twitter from the Commander team said, it says Annihilator 6. Yeah, you basically just knock a, new, a different player out every single turn, right?
well, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Parler is competing against Facebook, and I think it's doing a, quite a good job as being a, a an alt right uh, echo chamber. I know. Wait, we just get to untap with this? That's pretty wild. Oh, they got our crater hook. That's really sad. I don't do Facebook or Twitter. That's okay, man. That's okay. Um, I'm going to draw. We want to hit something good here. Okay, that's okay, I guess. Okay. I really hope they forget this guy has reach. I thought parlor was a dating app for all people. Hey, you kids want to go to the parlor? Okay. Okay, Grandma. Oh, they didn't forget about the reach. I feel like our card advantage is plentiful here. We have five cards in hand. It's a lot. None of our broken stuff is happening. We're just kind of playing mid-range weird stuff. This is actually very good. I like this a lot. Like that less. I don't get the Euro seems banned here. I don't know what that means. I don't get the joke, I think. We could probably like once a week do a webcam commander game and stream it for like once a month and have somebody do a deck. That actually could be. Yeah, it's. I think getting the cards is the hardest problem. I'm going to do this now because... What if we hit something? Oh, wow. Guy's Cradle. Have we played land yet? No, but we can play Guy's Cradle. With, uh, with Euro? One, two, three. We're going to get the mana from... From your boy. So this is four, eight. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I wish we did this first. Let me just cast Kozilek. Because now it's right now. It's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, that's unfortunate.
<laughs> if we have nine cards left in our deck, that's pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, let's play Goose. I mean, even if they wipe the board, we still have Eureka into these two dudes. I don't think... We, do we just Eureka here? Oh, man. They have to have, like, a Wrath of God, and I don't know why they wouldn't have played it last turn, right? Fuck it. YOLO. <laughs> Live the dream. Uh, land triggers Omnath. Oh, and we get to keep Mana Drain up. Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot that we'd play two islands and get to keep Mana Drain up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is this good? Is this good? This is why I'm 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 talking to you about Eureka right now. Okie dokie. Do both of these trigger? Yeah, you got it. You can cast my I mean you can cast my ancestral. Is this good? I mean, to be fair, giving them three cards. Ancestral Recall is literally the best card you can hit, I'm pretty sure. So, You got it. Deal. Oh my god, we get to hold up Mana Drain. It's pretty insane. Can they mill you? I mean, like, we have nine cards. I don't know how they're going to do that. Unless you meant, can they, like, target us with... With Ancestral? In which case, I mean, they can, but it's, like, it's not going to... All right. All right. Seems good. We did it. What do we see? We saw, like, Ashiok and, like... Baleful Strix? Yeah, I'll just submit. <laughs> oh, boy. Gotta ship this, even if we got the mana drain. See, this is a better hand. This is a turn three Nissa. Oh, bu, bu excuse me. Oh, that's a natural order, my dudes. Oh boy. Yeah, I knew Bird was dead, but that's okay. Carry added never dies. All right, so we're just going to natural order next turn into Progenitus. And uh, yeah, we're just going to hope that that does the deed. Yeah, I don't care about that. Don't draw Progenitus. Oh, yeah. Get him! Don't have Liliana. Oh, we have like multiple Eldrazi in our deck, so they're not gonna they're not gonna mill us.
Okay, they didn't take Mana Drain or Questing Beast, so I really don't know what they took here. Gonti? Okay. Death Touch doesn't... You have two turns. Boy, they're really taking our cards here. Oh, we can play Goose and Euro? That's pretty good. We also have enough uh we also have enough cards in the graveyard now to to activate Euro to cast that dude. I mean, they have to have an answer here. I don't think we're even blocking because if they have like Liliana of the Veil, like I don't want to lose my progenitus. And I don't think there's many cards in our deck uh, that can actually deal with treachery that they could take. Or uh, deal with uh, progenitus. Like, even treachery obviously protects from everything, so. Yeah, no blocks. Like, they literally just have to deal with this, and now they have to kill two creatures in order to, like, make me sacrifice it. Damnation would be fine. But then we just get to untap, play Nissa, attack them for three. We get Nissa on board. I mean, they can't Toxic Deluge for ten. But the world is different now. I need one more turn to get out of this. I gone to your upheaval. <laughs> well, that's not bad. Progenitus is a hell of a dude. I think we just 3 0 guys. Snarky Zero, thank you so much for the stip, man. Really, really appreciate No, uh, Magic Banding, thank you so much for the stip. Really appreciate it. Um, hopefully, I think we had fun. I don't think anyone touched my spaghetti. Thank you guys for watching as well. Also, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you guys want to support the content, uh, I really appreciate it if you guys went to Twitch, subscribed every now and then, tossed me a sub or a follow, and uh, it's a great way to support a content creator and streamer. I'm here five days a week at least. Even last game, I could have been okay if I drew into my damnation. Well, yeah, I, I mean, like, if you draw like, the exact card you need, I agree. Here, Damnation would have been fine. I mean, but we get to play Nessa still, so it's like... Inquisition. Yep, all right, that's fine. Yeah, and you saw... Inqu and you saw... Yeah, you saw... I mean, they wouldn't have been... They actually wouldn't have been fine last game because we actually... Uh, we had Mana Drain in hand. <laughs> bolt the bird doesn't work on carry out and i was like yeah that's the hope buddy magic banding thank you so much man really appreciate it glad you're here buddy i hope you saw this if not it will be on youtube and i'll have progenitus as the uh i even boarded an angrath's rampage Yeah, I mean that's why I didn't block here cuz like if if you if I just block with with goose and you make me sacrifice progenitus like we have the win as long as we can avoid our progenitus leaving the board. It's good. It's good. It's good. Macho macho man. Good games, though. 
<laughs> I mean, they're just being chatty. It's totally fine. People are not super talkative on, on Magic Online, so... I'm a little mad I lost to a deck with Eureka in it, but that looks to be instantly Eureka. Around the... <laughs> it's like, I mean, like, now he's going to talk trash about Eureka. I'm like, I, I I regularly prove that Eureka is actually totally fine in the right deck. Like, there's so many times where you can put significantly more through. If you're playing one for one with show and tell, you're probably going to lose. Because they're going to have one answer. An Oblivion Ring, a Sower of Temptation, a Treachery. That's fine. They're going to have that one answer. But then when you're also able to play, like, three more permanents, like an Ugin, a Karn, a Crater Hoof Behemoth, uh, you know, whatever... Uh, playing a, a frailies and then killing the enchantment that they put on the board like it's totally different it's completely not the same and while i think show and tell is completely a trap i do think there are very very fun eureka decks you can build and uh, I, I think i've proven that multiple times on stream we're getting we're getting some chatting conversations here Macho, macho man. Why do I have macho man stuck in my head? What a weird song to have in your head. I want to be a Michael B. Michael, Michael B. Okay, I'm off for that. Thanks for the streams. Hey, Josh, have a good night, buddy. First Thief hit this game was nuts. Yeah, you also had... There was also Questing Beast and Mana Drain that they didn't take. Wait, they took Kozilek? Why did they take Kozilek instead of, like, Mana Drain? Oh, just so it would give me a shuffle? That's interesting. Interesting. I think they may be trying to chat me to death. Um, Macho, yeah, the Homer Simpson, the Macho Man Homer Simpson is good. Hey, big spender, rainbow suspenders, dig that blender. Toxit Deliovis. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, the drain earlier would have been game changing for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Spelling is hard. Oh, wait for the game. All right. Trophy with the magic banding stipulation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Head over to Twitch and sub or follow if you get a chance. It helps me out a ton and it means a lot. And it's a great way to support the content. You're watching right this second. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.